Captain's log. Stardate Junish. The Lee is gathering her crew and preparing for an extended cruise while the new colony flotilla is being assembled. Borok, have you seen Captain Shepard? Over here, Ant. What do you need? Since when were you in Chuck's engineering detail? Since when was Chuck an engineer? Good point. Yeah. Messages from the flotilla commanders. They want to go over their plan for the Sigma Praxis Three with uh, someone in charge. Sounds more your speed than mine, Borak. Why don't you take this one? Uh, Captain, that would not be the wisest course of action. Those in colony services are really hard to get along with. An even better reason for you to take it instead of me. Oh, but Captain, I wouldn't dream of stepping on your prerogative. Oh, don't worry about it. You get him started and I'll come in a little while and check on you. Also, the new helmsman is coming in on the afternoon shuttle. Oh, great. I thought Kamarov was going to freeze us out forever. Why don't you greet him and uh, make sure they get settled in? Me? Hmm? Captain, I don't do welcoming committees. You're part of the command staff. You're going to be sitting next to them for the foreseeable future. Don't you think you might want to get to know him a little bit? I don't do well with people. Let's work on that, shall we? Crewman! Yes, sir. Are you just hiding underneath that console? No, sir. I was fixing it. Alright. I'm showing a power drain on deck C, sections 45 through 60. Do you know anything about that? Commander Montgomery says there's an energy leak on C deck and it's nothing to worry about. IPS conduits don't leak. There's something being powered on C deck and I want to know what it is. There's nothing in the specifications. Hmm. Let's go check it out, why don't we? <sighs> what was that? I don't know, sir. When you said that, I felt like somebody's walking over my grave, if you'll pardon the expression. You're a weird guy, Crewman. Thank you, sir. If we are late because of your incompetence. What incompetence? It was a short stop. We had to stock up on the essentials. We don't know how long we're going to be out here. Essentials that come in an airtight bag wrapped in brown paper? Next. Shut up! We are in a customs line. That kind of talk gets you noticed. Do you have anything to hide? Next. Uh, of course not. Jackass? Sir, can you open your bag, please? Why? What's wrong? Routine. The scanner caught something. I need to do a hand check. Uh, you can refuse. What? Uh, according to Article 4 of the Commonwealth Charter, she needs to provide you with a written warrant before she does any searches and seizures. Uh, What's going on here? They're refusing the search. I I'm not. She doesn't have a warrant. I don't have anything to hide. Why are you refusing the search? I am not. She doesn't need a warrant. That's for civilians. I'm not refusing the search. Wait, you mean we sign away our rights when we join Star Command? Yeah, it's in the enlistment papers. Well, that's tyranny! I won't stand for it. Are you refusing the search? No. no. Damn right he is. Ignore him. We're going to have to take you into custody. I haven't done anything. Damn right. No unlawful searches and seizures. Perfectly legal in all respects. Not according to the charter. Take a civics class. Could someone please remove him before I tear his arms off and beat him to death with them? Stand down, sir. I don't want to shoot you, but I will if I have to. This toboggan isn't going to hurt anybody. Oh, please don't make things worse. No, I've seen him pummel plenty of people. Not without permission. Until he's a man, he's not able to maim or kill anyone without direct permission from a superior or from an elder. All those times you threatened me? Can we please talk about this later? All the veiled threats and the talk of the inevitable outbreak of violence? No, I don't sound like that. Stand down, both of you! It was all an act! If you hadn't interrupted my right of manhood, I'd be well within my rights to do harm to you right now. Mm hmm Really? A Tyran Wowie powder? Oh. oh, hands up, both of you! You put drugs in my bag? I will kill you when you stand! Don't you mean where he stands? I mean when he stands, he's kneeling. Hands up, I will, I will shoot you.
what's going on here? This couple here, we're gonna have to take into custody for smuggling and causing a domestic disturbance. Commander Montgomery and Lieutenant Commander Grad, yes? Yeah, that's us. Lieutenant, these men are on an important mission for Admirals Kaiser and Stewart. If you release them into my custody, I guarantee they will be appropriately punished. Very well, ma'am, but we're gonna have to confiscate the Aterium while we powder. Oh, please do. And I'm so sorry for any disturbance these two might have caused. Gentlemen, will you grab your things? Wow, thanks. Who are you again? I'm Lieutenant Commander Olivia DeSoto. I'm the Lee's new protocol officer. And I also own your asses as of this moment. Understood? No woman owns an altercare. Oh, I'm sorry. You were saying? I think that's... <laughs> That's all to Karen for a yes, you own our asses. Good. We're already behind enough. Follow me. <gasps> Excuse me. I'm gonna go commit ritual suicide. Ah, uh, hold on there, juvenile. Can you even commit ritual suicide? Hmm. Hey, can you guys commit ritual suicide before you do the manhood thing? <laughs> no, that would be stupid. <laughs> Sorry, big guy. Looks like you're stuck with us. Oh. So, are you going to need a high chair, or can you sit at the table like a big boy? I don't care what it is, get it out of my sh <sighs> Maybe it's stuck? Computer, why won't this door open? Central rail controls were sealed by orders of Captain Marco Sandoval of- Computer, open this door. Authorization, Shepard 1 Alpha. Authorization declined. You do not have the clearance level needed for this section. Show you clearance codes. That's right. No computer's gonna tell me where to go on my damn ship. Wow. I wonder what this is. According to this, it's a Van Graaff series rail cannon. I thought those were made illegal a long time ago. Works. Huh. Let's see. Activate magnetic field. And power capacitor. Okay. Then disable safeties. And fire test pulse. Wow. That's amazing. You can get the same output as 12 positron torque torpedoes out of the capacitors in this room. Isn't that amazing, crewman? Crewman? I wonder where he went. This is Shepard. Sir, I'm in need of assistance. Go ahead, Borak. I'm about to rip these guys a new asshole! Negotiations over colonization strategy are not going well. I'll keep your shirt on. I'll be down in a minute to help you out. This is Shepard, go ahead. This is Transporter Bay 2. Lieutenant Commander Grack and Commander Montgomery are ready to be left. About time. I'll be right down. Shepard out. Roger that, Lee. Request fly by the bridge. Acknowledge. Making my approach now. Lieutenant Nicole McCaffrey.
reporting for duty. Permission to come aboard? Permission granted. Lieutenant Ann Kimball Communications. So, you're the new helmsman. Ah, no. I'm the new pilot. Uh, isn't pilot the same thing as helmsman? <laughs> I don't know, honey. Is a chef the same thing as a cook? <laughs> Speaking of which, come on. I'm starving. Where's the mess? Electrolyze. <laughs> Seriously, what took you guys so long? We were detained in customs. I regret to inform you, Commander Montgomery attempted to smuggle a kilo of Altarian Wowie powder on board and prevented me from committing ritual suicide. I'm embarrassed for us both. So, business as usual. Who's that? Ugh, new officer, fresh from Fleet Command. Public relations? I don't know, I think she's a secretary. Olivia DeSoto! Lieutenant Commander, Protocol Division. Uh-huh. Well, Miss DeSoto, you're about to get a crash course in field protocol. Things are already starting to heat up. Borok is meeting with the labor leaders. Welcome to the Lee, honey. Good luck. What in the name of the seven hells of Ryland Seven is going on here? I was just saying that you were just trying to explain what this should be. The Commonwealth thanks you for your true dedication to this project. Expansion of the Commonwealth is important to our society. Therefore, you are important to Fleet Command. Your sacrifice over the next six months is going to be essential in our success. The valiant Captain Shepard here and his capable crew are here to facilitate any need you might have within the next six months on our brave new adventure. Wow, you're good. Captain, mm. these people are very, very stupid. It is physically painful how you Okay, Morak, that's why I'm here now. Go lie down. Rest your giant head. What's this? It's the first terraforming design we'll use for the new planet. Each unit covers 10 hexamiles of ground. We've randomly distributed the units in order to form- well, Randomly distributed? Is that why everything looks so crazy? Of course. Commonwealth guidelines clearly state that the units need to be randomly distributed in these patterns. It's tradition. What? That's not tradition, that's stupid. I mean, look at that, you've got forests next to deserts, There's a, a mine next to the, some clay pit. I think it's pretty. What are these blocks that keep the segments together? The, those are the proposed settlements. The long bits are the roads. Don't blame me, it's how it's done. Ask anyone. Our unions have been supplying the Commonwealth with its raw resources for generations. Our ancestors controlled but a small island, but now we run the largest labor unions in the galaxy. Looks like a board game. Excuse me? Yeah, like you used to play when you were a kid or stoned out of your mind in college. I assure you, Captain, it's far more complex than any board game. We've established this settlement for the ease of trade between units. For example, placing a settlement here allows for brisk trade of lumber for a variety of animals. So you're saying you can get wood for sheep? <laughs> yes, because that joke never gets old. <laughs> it really doesn't. <laughs> well, all joking aside, um, do we have a plan for Sigma Praxis Three. Uh, that was what we were talking about when you arrived, Captain. Uh, the surveys are two decades old. And from a high altitude, very little detail. I thought you placed these things randomly. But the auto farms and auto factories have to be precisely placed in order to form the terraforming grid. We'll need an on-planet survey. Borak, why don't you head that up? 
happy to, sir. Very well, if no one has anything else. <coughs> captain? What? I believe the captain was going to arrange for a pre-debarking flight check, weren't you? No, it wasn't. We're under something of a time crunch here, Lieutenant Commander. Section 7118 clearly states that any flotilla containing more than three ships must undergo a pre-barking flight check by a star ranking star command officer. We're doing this now? Mm -hmm. Paragraph B of the same regulation states that we can do a scanner-only check when time is of the essence, which it is now. Why don't you head that up, Lieutenant Commander? Oh, but it must be done by a ranking star command officer. Oh yeah, but you see, I've been on duty for the last 36 hours, which means under Regulation 3507, I have to go off duty for at least four hours. But under Regulation 3518, I can hand off my duties to a responsible party. Are you a responsible party, Ms. DeSoto? Of course, sir. I'd be happy to help, sir. Great. Now that we've gotten that cleared up, dismissed. Operator Mayfair maneuver to course 174 and hold vector for scan. <sighs> you had to be a smart ass, didn't you? Never occurred to you that he might know regulation too. station off the refinery ship. Communications, how are we looking? The transponder is broadcasting that we are a mid-sized freighter and the interference from the refinery freighter will obscure a sensor silhouette. Good. Let's not call attention to ourselves until Admiral Kaiser tells us to. 